This video has everything you need to go from idea to a complete UI in just a couple of minutes with UX Pilot. It doesn't matter if you're an experienced designer or if you have zero technical knowledge. Keep watching because I'm going to show you how you can build stuff like this. I'm going from blank project to professional UI screens in one session. You're going to learn how to set up a project, generate flows with auto flow, upgrade wireframes to hi-fi, edit globally and by section, manage versions and export to Figma. And I'll also show you how to use your own design system. Okay, let's start with a new project. We're going to call it Taskly and we're going to build a to-do app for busy founders. Here on the left side is where we generate our designs. You can choose between wireframe mode, which is going to give us basic structural designs in black and white, or hi-fi mode, which outputs polished detailed designs with full color and visual styling. You can choose your screen type, desktop or mobile. Select if you want UX Pilot to create a single screen or a flow of screens. And in the prompt section, you can add files like images or PDFs of brand guidelines or use one of the existing screens as a reference. You can choose your design options which are Deep Design and Max. Deep Design delivers more detailed layouts, possibly with better animations and text. And Max will generate larger files like infinite scroll pages and more sections. Let me show you a quick example before we continue. Let's tell it to generate a home screen for a social media platform where people share videos. Hi-Fi turned on, no Deep Design or Max. Generate a home screen for a social media where people people share videos. And now let's use the same exact prompt, but let's also enable deep design and max. As you can see, the difference is in the details. The second version looks a lot more like something that you would actually use in real life. So usually for the best results, you'll want to work with both of these. Let's keep going. Here, you can also enhance your prompts or get prompt examples. And down here, you can choose your preferred model. So for our Taskly app, let's start with a wireframe, mobile screen, and let's choose a single screen. For our prompt, we're gonna write this. Create a modern app called Taskly that helps busy founders manage their to-do list. And if you're not very good at writing prompts, then don't worry, you can click on Enhance Prompt. This way, UX Pilot is going to give you a cleaner, more complete output and a better structure. There you go. This is already much better. Your output depends greatly on the quality of your prompts, so this feature is really handy. Let's click on Generate now, and look at this. It's given us a clean dashboard with high, medium, and low priority tasks, and add a new task button and a menu, which is pretty cool. Now, let's go to Design Options and toggle Deep Design. This will give us richer layouts. And let's also select Create Flow and Auto Flow to draft the pages out our app needs automatically. We can then reorder or add screens if needed. After Autoflow has automatically written our prompts, we can now change the names or any details we want. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this, but let's also add a sixth screen, a calendar. Let's hit generate. And in a few moments, we'll have a coherent multi-page wireframe set to review. All right, now we have a new task screen, task details, task categories, settings, and a calendar. And as you can see, the screens are following the visual hierarchy and structure from the first design. This is very important because it enables us to create a cohesive UI without worrying about going off brand. Great, now that we have all the wireframes, let's upgrade the first screen to Hi-Fi. Click on the design, generate, and choose Hi-Fi. Keep the default instruction to preserve layout and UX Pilot will transform the wireframe into an interactive animated Hi-Fi screen. And there you go. This is starting to look pretty good. And here's the cool thing. We can make this bigger or smaller. There's a hover effect. We can check mark the tasks. This really brings life to our design and helps us imagine what the user experience could be like. When you want to create Hi-Fi designs, the best option is to create the wireframe first and then upgrade it to Hi-Fi. This will save you a lot of credits in the long term. Now let's upgrade the entire flow to Hi-Fi. We're going to enable deep design and max if available for longer, denser pages. This costs more credits but yields richer layouts, so it's worth it. Check this out. This is starting to look like an actual app. There are a lot of great ideas here that we could use in our final build. Look at the elements, the colors, the text. We built this with just a couple of prompts and clicks. Obviously AI is not perfect yet, so we'll have to edit some stuff. But Luckily, you don't have to regenerate everything to tweak screens. We can change individual elements, do global edits, or 
section edits. Let me show you how easy it is. Let's say in the second screen, instead of new task, we want to have create new task, small detail. Instead of having to do another prompt and create everything from scratch, you simply click on the screen, go to edit options and select manual edit. Here we can edit individual elements as we like. This gives us a lot of freedom. We can move elements, change the order, change the text and move closer to our actual vision. Let's click on the headline, change this to create new task and we're done. Okay, what if you want to change an entire section now? In the main dashboard, I wanna change low priority tasks from blue to green. Well, let's go to edit element, select the section you want and now let's give it this prompt. Change the low priority section from blue to green color. As you can see, making edits is now easier and faster than ever. Let's try to make a global edit now. I just got this reference from Jenish Danani on Behance and now I'm gonna click on the first screen, select global edit, upload image. For the prompt, use styles from the reference. And look at this, it did a pretty good job at mimicking the style from our reference image. And you also have all the previous versions saved here so you can always go back. When editing, you usually wanna change individual elements or sections instead of full regenerations because that will cost you fewer credits. Global edits are for when you want to take big swings or completely change the style like we just did with this screen. Okay, now let me show you some more powerful tools that you have access to. Let's click on our screen and go to the three dots on the right. The prompt history shows you all the prompts that you use to generate that screen. So if you're getting really good results, you can save your prompts for future designs or reuse them for other screens inside the project. And here's one of my favorite ones, the change font. The cool part about this feature is that you can change the font on the entire screen instantly. So you can really test what looks best with your design and save a lot of time. You can even get the code source of your screen and give it to your developers if you want. Another thing you can do is to use the screen as context for future generations to stay consistent with your designs. UX Pilot gives you a ton of options so you can bring your ideas to life with as little friction as possible. Now, when you're happy with the designs that you've got, you're ready to import them into Figma. Select everything and click on Save for Figma. Here's how easy it is. Open the UX Pilot plugin and go to the Retrieve in Figma window. Select your saved design and let's import it. As an option, you can enable Use Auto Layout in Render Settings. This is a beta feature, but it helps create a cleaner frame structure. It can take a while, so go grab a coffee. If you don't like to wait, you can use the Blitz model to generate screens faster. The standard model may take between two to three minutes per screen, but the Blitz model takes 10 seconds. Okay, there you go, your design in Figma. You can now edit everything as you wish. And the coolest part is that you don't have to start from zero. You can show your ideas to clients or your team and build stuff really fast. Now, here's another incredibly powerful feature that I wanna share with you. If you wanna generate designs with your own components, you can import them via your UX Pilot Figma plugin. By choosing your desired component library, you'll be able to ensure every generated design follows your established design standards. The cool part is that you can find a lot of component libraries in the Figma community or on the web for free. And if they're in Figma, it means we can import them into our project. To import your component library, click on Import Components, Create a Collection, and then Import Your Components. It's important that you do this in small batches. Now, when you go back to the UX Pilot web, you can choose your design system and regenerate your designs via Global Edit. This will regenerate all your designs with your actual buttons, forms, and UI elements, eliminating the need to rebuild everything later. UX Pilot is a robust design companion that can help you build stuff incredibly fast and test your ideas in minutes instead of hours or days. If you want to start building, go to the link in the description for a free trial with credits. And if you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and we'll help you ship faster with UX Pilot.